Okay, well, folks, we're going to answer. We got a question, good question the other day. We've got a real good example here. This is about raising puppies to their full potential, whether no matter what you're doing, if you want them for agility work, if you want them for a companion dog, if you just want them for family, or if you want them to be protector of all your valuables and gold, which of which we all know you have a lot of. Uh, hey, Demi, come here, buddy. Demi, see, y'all bear with me. We have here a Caucasian of Charka, a Russian Caucasian shepherd dog, some will call them. Come here, Dim. This beast that you're looking at, my little snow leopard, is a six month old, believe it or not, Caucasian. Whether you call him an Avcharka or a Caucasian Shepherd. And here's a prime example. Demi came here straight out of a kennel from Russia uh, two weeks ago. He's six months of old. That's, that's it, folks. He's, he's a baby. This is a six month old Caucasian Avcharka. Uh, when he's full grown, he's going to be over or he can approach or go over 200 pounds. Hey buddy, 200 pounds with the speed and athletic ability of a linebacker. This is a formidable creature. And his owner, the people who brought him over to me from Russia, want him trained to protect their property. But guess what? I don't care if he's 200 pound off Charka, <clears throat> The best bred KNPV Malinois on the planet. If you don't do a few things those first critical nine months, you're not gonna have a dog capable of doing what this dog is capable of doing. So that's what Raptor H wrote in and wanted us to, wanted me to name five things that I consider the most important things in raising a protection puppy. But remember, these five things are gonna go across the board to everything. So, we're gonna start with the first and most important that poor Demi's had neglected, and that's socialization. They need to get out in the world. Here's exactly how it works for everybody. Every mammal on the planet goes through the same uh, growth period. You heard people talk about if a child is born in a bilingual family, when they grow up, they automatically speak both languages that they just heard while they were a baby. But once a baby reaches five years old, if he's only been raised with one language to learn a second language, well, you gotta get out the books and you gotta study and you gotta write and you gotta repeat and you gotta practice. But you automatically soak up all this knowledge till you're five years old. That same time frame and same brain chemistry works in dogs like a Mastiff like this one till they're seven months of age or eight months of age and an average dog, we'll see our herding dogs, shepherds, mouths, till they're six months of age. So this is a critical period. Everything your dog sees from the time it's eight weeks of age to six months of age that doesn't harm it is gonna be something that never harms it in its life. It means it's not gonna be afraid of anyone. You show him big people, little people, uh, well-endowed people, uh, different colored people. Nothing's gonna scare him because he saw it in this learning period. Um, and if he doesn't see him, he can be spooked of anything. So there's the first thing, early socialization. The next thing, I'm gonna start with a pup, believe it or not, as young as eight, 10 weeks of age, especially, especially for a protection puppy, obedience, obedience. I don't care what anybody tells you, you can't have a protection dog if he can't go with you anywhere you go to protect you. <laughs> That's why we call them protection dogs, right? So, uh, hey Dim, how you doing buddy? 
So Demi's got to get his confidence up, but more than that, in order to be an effective protection dog, he's got to be able to go to the Girl Scout meeting with me. And guess what? The Girl Scouts ain't gonna let him sit in if he's jumping all over the place stealing cookies, right? So you start your obedience, and I'll tell you something else that early obedience or good obedience does for you and your dog. It creates what I call a communication channel. The more you teach a young dog, or the more he learns, the more he can learn. So when you start working with these young pups, like we do our Western Shepherds, we'll start them at eight, 10 weeks of age. And at 10 weeks of age, most of them will sit, stay down and heal. So that just means their brain's absorbing stuff and they can learn even more. So first I'm gonna socialize, then I'm gonna start working in obedience. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on environmental exposure. All right, buddy? I want Demi to hear loud cars going by. I want him to hear, you know, boat horns going honk honk. Uh, I'm going to take him to the most crowded grocery store I can find and let him let him see the carts going in and out. You know, if you can go to a Walmart, they're great. You stand at the exit door, people come out with their cart. It's Walmart, so only three wheels on the cart are going to work. So when they come out, it's going kachooka, kachooka, kachooka. And the dog goes, holy mackerel. If that don't get me, nothing will. So environmental exposure is going to be the, the second thing. The third thing I'm going to do is, or excuse me, fourth thing we're going to do is confidence building. And you can build confidence in lots and lots of ways. If you're doing a protection dog, see? Demi now knows what an exhaust of a fast little blue car sounds like. So you can build confidence by playing tug of war games and always let the dog win. The dog must always win because we want him to understand that not only does he not have to be afraid of tall people, short people, long people, if he got into a fight and meant business, he could win everything, couldn't you Demi? See Demi could win everything, but he's a little subdued, again he just just come in from another country, doesn't hadn't seen much, and we'll start working with him with tug of war games. We will put him on agility, going up over ramps. Build your pup's confidence by exposing him to everything you possibly can. Number five on my list of things to do is obedience, 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 obedience. And for all you protection dog people, you think about this. In the first place, if you're walking down the street or a park or someplace and there's a thief handy, when he sees you, I mean, if he sees you with Demi, ain't nobody gonna cross you <laughs> at all. <laughs> but anyone who sees you with most dogs walking with you is gonna be hesitant to attempt to rob you. 
If they see a dog that comes when you call, sits, stays down, its obedience is really, really stellar. You know what kind of impression that makes on a punk? There's no way around it. They're going to take one look and they're going to say, now there's a team. And that is a Rottweiler, a Doberman, or whatever breed. And they're going to say to themselves, hmm, I think I'll wait for five more people to come by before I do anything. Because <laughs> they're going to put a lot of space between you and a well-trained dog. So get your communication channel working between you and your pup. Teach him as much as you can, as early as you can. Don't push him. Make sure he enjoys it. Make sure learning is fun. All that is going to be part of big tractor going by. This is Texas. He had to haul some hay past us. All that's going to be a part of giving your dog a personality that will make him one of the best protection dogs and the best security system you're ever going to earn. You're ever going to own. So. Uh, Jimmy's watching cars drive in, and I guess I need to go see who's driving those cars. So I hope you enjoy this one. Remember, if you got any other questions, do just like Rafter H did. And Rafter, I hope that answers your questions. If not, come back, give us another shout. You know where the subscribe button is, and y'all can click it. And hey, if you would, share this with all your puppy uh, owning people. And any other questions, like I said, please don't hesitate to, to give us a call. Stan just can't wait to jump up and give you some fine examples of perfect training with his pups. See you, folks. Come on, Jimmy.